Okay, this video is going to be about number one from the 2018 Calc A, B, and Calc B, C exams. Um, and it's a pretty typical rate in, rate out problem uh, about people on an escalator. So let's see what we can do. So in part A, we are given R of T. So R of T is this. And we're told in the problem that R of T is measured in people per second. So those are going to be the units. Um, and we're also told that uh, t is in seconds, which makes sense. So we have this, um, and what we wanna do is uh, figure out, and this is the rate in. So this is the rate at which people are getting on the escalator. So uh, let's label that as the rate in. So we have that. And um, in this part, we wanna find how many people enter the line for the escalator during the time. So that's actually just gonna be the integral of the rate in. So that's gonna look like uh, the integral, um, so the time frame is zero to 300, so our bounds will be from zero to 300, and we're gonna integrate the rate in, so that's gonna be R of T dt, and then uh, grab a calculator, and it tells you that that definite integral is 270, and it should be people. Um, and so this is what my calculator looked like at the end of that, and uh, that's part A. So let's move on to part B. So in part B, uh, we still know that the rate in is given by R of T, which is in people per second. Um, the problem also tells us that uh, 0.7 people per second are getting off of the line for the escalator. So that's going to be the rate out. So uh, now we have a rate in, rate out situation. So that's going to be 0.7 people per second. Um, and we also know that at T equals zero, there are 20 people online for the escalator. Um, so these are the things we know. And then the question is, um, how many people are in line at t equals 300? So to figure that out, what we'll do is the number of people we start with plus, it's gonna be the integral of rate in minus rate out over the time interval. So the time interval is zero to 300, so zero to 300. And then it's the quantity rate in, which is R of t and then minus the rate out, so minus 0.7, and then uh, dt. And again, just grab a calculator, and that gives you 80. And so let me show you what my calculator looked like. So I just punched that straight in, the calculator gave me the answer, and we're on to part C. So part C is asking us for um, the first time t that there are no people in the line for the escalator. So um, we know that that's going to be at some time greater than uh, greater than 300 because the problem says there are always people online from 0 to 300. And we just figured out that at t equals 300 there are 80 people in line. So uh, we also know that uh, R of t was kind of defined strangely and if you go back and look at it you know that when um, t is greater than 300 R of t actually changes from that function deal to just zero. So R of t is just zero, but the, um, the rate out is still gonna be 0.7 people per second. So what we wanna do now is think about, we have the number we're starting with at 300 plus the integral from uh, 300 to whatever t is, we're trying to find t of rate in minus rate out, but the rate in changed to zero and then minus the rate out is still 0.7. And I'm gonna say dx here. Um, so it's dx because uh, t is the upper bound, so I don't want the bounds to be dependent. And then that's gonna have to equal zero if there's nobody online. And the calculator tells me that t is approximately 414.286, and that should be in seconds. And here are some screenshots of what I did on the calculator. So first I just solved that, and um, the TI Inspire cast had no problem with that. Um, but if you have a problem with that, you might instead just graph it, graph zero, and then find the intersection point. So either of those methods will definitely work for you. Um, and now we're on to part D. So part D, we want to know um, when the number of people in line is a minimum. So it's a from zero to 300. So it's a closed interval, continuous function, and this is definitely a candidate's test situation. So um, I'm going to define a function. So I'm going to say f of t is going to be 20 plus the integral from 0 to t. I'm going to use r of x minus 0 0.7. So that's just rate in minus rate out 
um, and then that's going to be the number of people um, on the escalator. They're really online for the escalator at time t from zero to three hundred. All right, so uh, I'm going to do the candidate test. So I need to find the derivative. So f prime of t is going to be uh, r of t. So this is second fundamental theorem minus 0.7, or you can just think the overall rate is rate in minus rate out, that's good enough. Um, setting that equal to zero to get the critical points gives me um, this equation, and the calculator tells me that that is t equals 33.0133, or t equals 166.575. And now what I wanna do is uh, I wanna make a table I'm going to look at t, f of t, where f of t is defined above, and I need to look at 0 at 33.0133 and 166.575 and 300. I just punched these into my calculator, and the calculator spit out the answers. So I got these values. So what we're doing is we're looking for the absolute minimum. So from the table, you can see the absolute minimum is uh, 3.8, but it's uh, to the nearest person. So let's write up our answers. So the absolute minimum occurs at an endpoint or a critical point. Uh, the critical points were these values, which we found. And therefore, the absolute minimum is going to be four people, because we're rounding. Um, and that happens at t equals 33.013 seconds. And uh, we used the candidates test to do that. So that's all of question number one. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.